Rice salad is one of the most delicious food in the southern of Thailand. It's full of herbs, many kinds of herbs mixed together. It's very easy to make. The first thing we need to prepare is cooked rice. If we want our rice to have indigo color, we can add some colors in there. The most popular color that we like is butterfly pea. Just throw maybe five or six butterfly, pea, butterfly peas flowers in the pot of the rice before we cook. And we just cook rice like normal. And after that, the color of butterfly peas going to make the rice turn to indigo color, beautiful color. After we cook the rice, the next thing we need to prepare is prepare the dressing. The ingredient for the dressing, the first thing is galanka. This is our galanka. There are so many kinds of galankas. But the part of galanka that we want to use for making the dressing is we want the old galanka. Because the old galanka is very strong taste, taste very a little bit spicy, but smells very good. But the young galanka we used to eat as vegetable, but this part we want old galanka to make the sauce or the dressing for the rice salad. This is the old galanka that we have. See this one is a. Uh, there are so many varang, uh, so many kind of galanka. But this one we call yellow galanka. The inside of galanka will be yellow color. We can use any kind of galanka, it's fine, no problem. It's good to cut the root off and take the dirt out as much as we can before we wash it. Because if we bring the galanka with a lot of dirt to wash in the in the sink, it will fill up our pipe will fill up with dirt and sand so it will clog the pipe easily it's good to clean it like this first the second ingredient for the dressing is lemongrass we need a lot of lemongrass actually and when we use lemongrass we also use the leaves or use the whole thing you will get better smell but sometimes you don't have it it's okay Wash them with clean water to remove all the dirt out of the uh, galanka and lemongrass. This is the ingredient to make the dressing for rice salad. In uh, original recipe, they use fermented fish, fermented fish sauce. So, but now we're gonna use we're going to make vegetarian one so we we use soy sauce instead and the second thing is palm sugar a cup of soy sauce and then a tablespoon of palm sugar and then onion or shallot lemongrass galanga and the last thing is a uh, kaffir lamb kaffir lamb is very good smell the recipe is not fixed so whatever you have you can add in there no problem and in any amount is fine but the main thing is uh, have all of them like this you can add more thing more spice also is okay and then you can taste it after that to make the taste a little bit salty a little bit sweet that's perfect in case if we don't have palm sugar, we can use sugar cane, fresh sugar cane. We cut them about five inches. Maybe two of them, that's enough for sweetness. Put all the ingredients in the pot and then bring to a boil with medium heat for 15 minutes up to half an hour and then strain it. We will get the juice. That juice is the best dressing. Then we can shred the coconut very fine and then dry fry them in the pan. Fry them with no oil, with nothing. 
with very low heat until it turn brown color and smell very good. So the coconut is good to use very old old coconut is the best taste and nicer smell. Then we need to prepare vegetable. We need young galanga, long beans, a lot of them, and then we need more lemongrass. Lemongrass we need quite a lot too, because we eat a lot of lemongrass here. So it's good to have more young lemongrass. We don't need the leaf for this part. Just break the the head of it, so it's softer to eat. So this is part where we want to eat them, and we can have a lot of lemongrass. It tastes very good. The young lemongrass it tastes good when we chew it together. The next thing is turmeric flowers. There are many kind of turmeric. Most of turmeric flowers is edible. We love eat fresh turmeric flowers in Thailand, and then sometimes we boil them and eat them. But for the rice salad, we always use everything fresh. Fresh, it tastes good. We can also use the young leaf of uh, turmeric leaves. It's good too. Another vegetable that work very well with rice salad is uh, wild beetle leaves. This is a kind of beetle that they grow wild. They grow very well where it's wet. Under the trees, they doesn't like sunlight much. This kind of plants has very high calcium and tastes good. It's very good vegetable. Then we have to slice all of them very fine. This is kaffir lime. This is lemongrass. This is uh, turmeric flowers. So slice them very fine. This is beetle white beetle and sometimes we use Vietnamese mint also we use fresh butterfly peas flowers too so this is what we arrange after that this is ready to eat so it look nice and fresh nothing cooked except the sauce and coconut we also add pomelo or sometimes green mango or any kind of fruit, any kind of flowers that edible, any kind of vegetable that we can, that we like to eat fresh, we can put everything together. So this is a good way to eat vegetable. Many different kinds. Sometimes we have more than 20 kinds of vegetable. Slide them very thin, mix together, it makes it taste good. We can add roasted peanut in there also and coconut uh, dry fried coconut make the smell so good. Rice salad is the way to eat more than 10 kinds of vegetable in one bite. We mix everything together with rice and put the dressing on top a little bit and just eat them like that. It's so incredible. You cannot imagine how can many vegetables mix together and make the taste this good. You can't believe it. It's so easy. Food is medicine. Medicine is food. If we keep eating raw vegetable like this, we will get more vitamin, mineral, and more nutrition and more herbal qualities in there too. Food is everywhere in the world. Surround us full of food. Every plant full of taste. There are so many different tastes. When we make different tests together, it creates a new incredible taste. It's so good and easy. There are so many good things. The taste of food is the gift for our life. We have to enjoy it. We have to enjoy the beauty of taste of vegetable. There's no reason to go eat processed food anymore because there's so many good things that taste better than processed food. Come back to eat real food 
to eat normal food, we will be normal.